Just wanted to shoot a quick video on uh, trying to explain how I do my water changes. This is actually a pump that I have here that this pump goes all the way to the bathroom to the tub. It pumps the water. Uh, I got this pump on eBay pretty cheap, pretty cheap for like nine dollars, and it pumps about two hundred uh, gallons per water. Uh, 200 gallons per, per hour so uh, you know it all drain this much in about a, a minute or two which you know is pretty uh, pretty good if you ask me that way I don't have to carry um, water back and forth if I don't have to be carrying buckets and stuff like that and what I do is I just take this out uh, take it out put it in this bucket with uh, hot water and uh, uh, Clorox just to make sure that I uh, try to kill any uh, bacteria or anything that I want, may want to transfer to the other tanks because what I do is I just put it from, from this tank to this tank to the tanks up there to this tank here and the other tanks all around so this is what I try to do to make my water changes as easy as, as possible then I uh, here have the hose this is the water uh, this is straight top water that I put uh, into the tank and what I do is I add a, a little bit of prime uh, more than what's recommended because like I said it's coming straight from the top just to make sure that uh, that uh, kill uh, you know it cures the water uh, as soon as possible but like I said, this is how I do it. I use this pump to pump it out. Then I use this hole to hose to uh, put new water out of the tap. Uh, prime. I use this with a little bit of hot water and uh, chlorine and Clorox just to kill anything. And and that's how we go. Uh, this is something I've been doing for about two weeks after like literally <laughs> breaking my back of doing. Uh, doing it the old-fashioned way with the buckets back and forth uh, I've actually been doing it for about a month but I'll be honest with you uh, it, it took me a couple of weeks to kind of perfect it and get it right and getting the the right tubing from um, oh this tubing I, I got it from um, uh, Home Depot getting the right tubing getting everything ready it took me about two weeks uh, and now I'm doing it without making without making any mess without um, uh, making it uh, difficult on myself because you know listen when you have when you're breeding fish and you have as many fish as I have at this point you have to make it easier for yourself or otherwise uh, you know you're just gonna break your back and then you're just gonna be disappointed and uh, and then you're gonna want to get you know you're not gonna want to keep in this hobby stay in this hobby so you know I'm trying to give you an idea try to make it as easy as, as possible uh, don't mind my tank with all the algae. I don't and really don't care for that. Uh, as long as the tank is uh, uh, doing its job, the uh, algae is doing uh, algae is doing its job. You know, as long as, long as the the tank is cycled, that's what I really care. Uh, this tank is developing algae a little bit. Maybe I'll clean it. Maybe I'll clean it a little bit. It's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, this is how I do my water changes. I hope you know this helps you guys if you have multiple tanks I uh, hope this makes it easier I actually just bought another pump uh, I went to Reefa Palooza uh, Reefa Palooza and, and uh, I bought, I bought a, a stronger pump for like uh, $50 and the other pump allows me to actually put it it's an external pump I could use it internally and externally this one I could only use it internally the other ones I have plans for like my bigger tanks and, and another bigger tank that I want to do uh, and also just to have two pumps in case I want to do things uh, try to speed up but this is how I'm doing it uh, like I said this one I got it for like ten dollars on eBay it's been working great and I have no issues I just got the other one because it's more powerful and it's an external pump and I wanted an external pump just to uh, to eliminating having to put the pump inside the tanks to decrease the contamination of water and fish from back and forth 
because if if uh, if I use the external pump I'm only going to put the tubing inside the tanks uh, but now that I'm thinking about it you know with this is a lot easier because I just dropped this in the tank uh, so matter of fact I'm gonna give you a demonstration with the other tank so you can see uh, pretty much how uh, how that goes I'm gonna I'm gonna give you a demonstration how uh, I do the, this you know what a change here I just put prime more, more than what's recommended for this tank and then and then now I'm pumping the uh, the new water into the tank has a little bit more pressure than uh, what I wanted but what are you gonna do uh, this water I, I, it's a little bit colder than the water in the tank um, you know I like to do that to kind of replicate what would happen in the uh, in their natural habitat when they get uh, uh, rain water it's a little bit colder than what it is in in their normal uh, water so I always you know I try to I don't test it but I try to put my finger in there and I know this is a little bit colder than that uh, I mean I've been doing that for quite some time I don't have a problem um, I don't keep heaters in these tanks um, you know I have it in uh, as I mentioned before my my fish room I just keep it at, at a uh, uh, room temperature and from time to time what I do if it gets too hot in the room uh, I have a separate air conditioner for this particular area so I just turn it on which I just turned on now just to keep it a little cooler since most of these guys uh, require cooler water uh, I'm talking about all my wild baiters and pretty much every fish I have here requires cooler water you know they'll do fine somewhere between 70 to 78 um, but this is how I do the water changes um, I'll, there are times where I put the put a clip here just clip the this and I can move around go do what I got to do but today I'm trying to demonstrate to you guys how I uh, how I'm doing this water change so this is the water and I'm gonna stop the video here right now and I'm, but I'm gonna continue because uh, I, I need both both hands to close the valve uh, I don't want this to to overflow okay okay now I'm back I'm gonna continue here with the demonstration so I just want to make sure I clean everything this nice and clean try to wash it as much as possible it's been there for more than a few minutes so I know that hopefully where everything is you know that anything that we could be contaminated oh my god I just dropped it I'm gonna have to come back because I need two hands anyways I'm back here uh, as you see it's pumping out water from here all the way straight to my uh, my tub and this that, that's how I do water changes make uh, made easy uh, like I said this for this tank it'll take about two minutes or so maybe three minutes uh, but this is you know this is how you do it and this is how you make it easier you don't have to go back and forth for buckets and this is pretty cheap uh, with the tubing in this I spent just this alone in the tubing uh, this this uh, vinyl uh, clear tubing uh, I said I spent probably like uh, $20 in total which is worth it at the end of the day it's definitely worth it uh, another thing I'm, I, I do sometimes if I want to do a bigger water change once I see that the tank is uh, halfway down uh, what I do is I just bring this hose right here which is for the water and I do both things at the same time I drain water and put uh, fresh water at the same time and it will give me close to a hundred percent water change without you know doing a dramatic change at the same time although you know it, it, it all of that would happen in a matter of uh, maybe five minutes or so but it's uh, to me it's you know it, it looks safer that if that if I just uh, take a hundred percent out of the water and then just uh, put a hundred percent back or ninety percent back uh, it's just just a, an idea 
like I said, once you see that the water is going down, halfway you start putting new water and you keep this on at the same time. Uh, another thing you may want to do is when you're doing this type of a water changes is not going to um, take out anything that could be in your substra substrate or in the bottom of the tank. I choose to go uh, bare, uh, bare bottom tanks. That's, that's just how I prefer to go. But if you want, what you do is just get a, uh, a some a suction tubing or something, and then suction the bottom of the tank, which is what I do uh, at least every other week, uh, or try to do it every time that I do water changes uh, this way, because this this uh, method right here is not gonna uh, take out all the debris, all the everything that's on the bottom of the tank. So I, I really recommend you do that. And my light went off. I didn't realize that uh, the timer was on, so I have to go uh, turn it turn it back on. So what happens when you do it? Uh, water changes late at night, and we are back. Sorry, guys. I, I just I'm sure this video is gonna be as is. I don't have time to edit. Don't have time to do any of that. So you're gonna see the video as it is raw. My timer went off. Uh, as I said, with new water changes late at night. Uh, and this is how I roll. This is how I do it. I just wanted to give you uh, an idea on how to do how do I do things. So hopefully this could this could help you. Those of you that have multiple tanks that have been doing water changes uh, other ways, but this is to me it's the best. Okay. Thank you guys. If you like what you see, comment, like. Let me know how you're doing your water changes, so that other people can have may, maybe a different idea. Well, you know, maybe this may not work for them, but what, you, what you're doing may, may uh, work for them. Uh, just let me know. Leave a comment. And make sure you subscribe to the channel. Okay? Thank you.